Okay, so we've just ordered some food and this is something I've really been looking forward to ever since I've been back here in Canada is ordering some good old-fashioned Canadian style Chinese food. Uh, people always ask me in Taiwan, what food do you miss the most from Canada? And my answer is usually North American Chinese food, Westerners uh, style Chinese food. Because for some reason you just can't really find uh, that kind of thing in Taiwan. I'm not sure if I could find it in China or if this is its own food category, kind of a westernized version of Chinese cooking. Uh, but either way, it's something that we really enjoy eating. It's one of my favorite styles of food is uh, good old fashioned Canadian Chinese food. So we're just gonna warm it up and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so we've got some of my favorite items here. Uh, of course, the classic egg roll. I'm not sure why I can't really find these in Taiwan. Because I know Taiwanese people, they like crispy fried delicious things and that's exactly what this is. So I would, I would have assumed that that would be quite popular in Taiwan. And what we typically do is we'll put some classic red sauce. Again, I can't find this in Taiwan. But you will find this at every single Chinese food restaurant in Canada. It's very, very sweet red sauce. So just douse it with the red sauce and then uh, take a bite. I think it's filled with usually bean sprouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's filled with bean sauce. Just kind of nice, crunchy, delicious. Uh, that sweet fried bread, that's really good. And then I've got some orange chicken. Have never seen this in Taiwan. It's absolutely delicious. It's sweet and it's kind of a battered chicken. Similar to style red sauce, I think. Very tender chicken inside and definitely a staple. Some kind of chicken dish like this, whether it's orange chicken or here I've actually got sesame chicken as well. You can also get sweet and sour pork, uh, lemon chicken. So I think for whatever reason, the Chinese food style that they cook here in Canada at least tends to be a little sweeter, like a lot of fried things and then sweet things. So that hasn't been my experience in Taiwan. As I said, I'm not sure if maybe it's something that they do in mainland China, uh, but it's always nice to come home and order something like this because of nostalgia. That's what I'm doing. And then the next dish we have is a jumbo shrimp in a lobster bisque, which I had never heard of before. Let's give that a try. Mm-hmm. That's quite good. It tastes a little peppery, a little bit sweet, probably from the lobster, and then these giant shrimps. Look at that nice big shrimp there. And then next, this is a very simple dish, just tofu and little mushrooms. I'm not sure that they cook a lot with these little button mushrooms in Taiwan. I haven't really seen it. I know they cook a lot with the, the long Japanese enoki mushrooms. Mm. And then if you want a little bit of extra flavor, and trust me, I know that this is blasphemous in Taiwan, but it's something that we do here in Canada. We will actually use soy sauce as a condiment. In Taiwan, typically they would cook with soy sauce, but here we actually put it on the food. So basically instead of putting salt on your food, you will put soy sauce on your food and all the packaging is very nice, little pandas on it. And then if you ever need any more of that sweet red sauce, it's here. This is the, they call it duck sauce. So I'm not sure, maybe in mainland China, this is something they would put on duck. That actually might be not too bad, I should try that. But yeah, that's that's generally a fairly typical Canadian Chinese food takeout order. Maybe next time we might get something like lemon chicken. What else did we miss this time? Maybe another vegetable dish, like a green pea or water chestnut baby corn. That tends to be fairly popular. This is called a fortune cookie. And again, it's something I've never seen in Taiwan, but it's something that Canadians or North Americans or Westerners uh, typically associate with Chinese food is at the end of the meal, no Chinese food meal is complete without a fortune cookie. So they're kind of this interesting shape here, a sweet little cookie, and then we break it in half and inside is your fortune. So typically there'll be a few numbers here which you can use to play the lottery. Uh, you got your French on the back and then my fortune for today is you are going to pass a difficult test. Well, that's good. Because next week I gotta get my COVID test before I go back to Taiwan. So, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> 
So that's it, that's the fortune, and then you've got your cookie. Mmm, crunchy, a little bit sweet. A nice after dinner snack. So if you ever come to Canada, take a look for these at the end of your meal. But otherwise, I'm going to enjoy my meal and wash it down with a nice Canadian beer. This is a steam whistle. They have a brewery in downtown Toronto. So when we used to live in downtown Toronto, my brother, my friends and I, we used to go down to Steam Whistle Brewery all the time and take the brew tour. And then the best part about that is you pay for the tour, but then on the way out you get a free six pack. So if you're ever in Toronto, that's a pro tip. I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, we'll talk to you guys later, bye. Okay, that Chinese food was amazing last night. Full disclosure, this is the next day. We're just uh, experiencing a bit of a winter storm. Check this out. So the snow is definitely coming down, which means it's time for me to uh, stay inside, stay warm, and eat some tasty, tasty Christmas treats that we have left over. Uh, these are from Mike's mom, so thank you very much for that. And we have all kinds of things here. I'm just going to go a bit crazy. Start with the Nanaimo bar. You may have seen me eat these Nanaimo bars at the Yale Town Bistro in Kaohsiung, uh, but these ones have been homemade in Canada. So you've got some grand cracker and coconut on the bottom, lots of uh, egg, sugar, butter for the yellow layer in the middle, and then just chocolate on top. Can never go wrong with this quintessentially Canadian dessert. And now I'm gonna have a butter tart. This is something that is absolutely Canadian, never seen it anywhere else and it is so, so good. So this would be uh, a nice layer of pastry on the outside, and then the inside is full of a mixture of brown sugar, sugar, butter, and it's all been baked, nice toasty brown, and oftentimes you'll find little raisins, yeah, inside as well, or some kind of walnut, and this is called a butter tart. There's just something about that combination. Probably the brown sugar gives it a nice, toasted flavor, and then everything is so soft with the uh, pastry on the outside. I uh, can tell you though, you can't eat too many of these. Mm. Anyway, I don't want to overdo it. We actually do have to eat dinner in an hour or so. Uh, so I'm gonna save the rest for later. But yeah, this is a great example of something we might put out on the table around Christmas time, New Year's. Just lots of delicious baked goods. Mm.